Good evening, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. If you are new, please like, share, and subscribe. If you're returning, guess you know how we do kick off our shoes, like, and share the video. I thought this was something interesting to speak about. I don't know if you guys have been following the Gypsy Rose Blanchard story. And so, on TikTok, and there's just so much footage on TikTok of, you know, the whole case, the whole story. Now, Gypsy is the young lady who did... I believe eight and a half years for I guess helping to conspire or whatever the case to unalive her mom. This video is under the failure stack and the failure stack will be in the description box as well as the about me section of the platform. And so on TikTok there was a friend of hers who allegedly was a friend in jail and you know she was talking about how they had planned to, you know, once the friend got out or whatever the case, that, you know, the friend helped her grow her TikTok platform and, or let's say, grow her, so help Gypsy grow her social media platform so that when she come home, she had already, she will already have a fan base or a large following. And so it seems like the friend is saying that she is invited to a party two days later or so. She was told, you no, know, don't come to the party. And so she's feeling, the friend is very hurt and devastated because she's feeling like Gypsy, you know, being that she could no longer use her or had use for her, you know, she didn't want to be bothered with her anymore. And I found that strange and I found that, you know, not shocking because nothing to do with this person really shocks me after, you know, this whole story or whatever the case, but. The friend says that she was sending her money from the platforms, that, you know, she had fought with parole or whatever the case to go visit, but she couldn't. And so her kids went to visit, her husband visited her. And so is it fair to say that they were very close? And this is just another form of pretrial from Gypsy, allegedly. And so the friend is in disbelief. And basically she said she gave her the platform, but it... Y'all can't say that this whole situation isn't wild. You know, first the unaliving of her mother with with Nicholas or whatever the case, helping him or or putting it together or whatever the case and you know, making him think or or, or giving him promises as to, you know, they were gonna be together forever and all these different kind of things if he did or carried out this act and, and so he did and he ended up with life and she ended up with ten but did eight, I believe eight and a half years and now she's like heck with him and this is wow. So I'm wondering what else did she share with this friend? Because if she shared enough to let her know that, because to be honest, she didn't need social media in order to become famous because the story itself was famous, right? And so did she have this friend to build this platform so that when she came home, mm -hmm. she would be already financially stable or even though, excuse me, even though it said she'd done books or whatever the case while she was inside it's like she already had possibly some money and so coming out now with all these big followings on social media and you know she did the little thing with her husband and talking about the deep you know it's and it's like she's reliving the behaviors that she was living when she was with her mom and i say that i mean far as like the way she speak, the way she responds. I'm saying when she feels like she's in distress. Like remember she was saying, oh, oh what she said, oh, I'm famous or, or something and there's nothing y'all can do about it or something or another to that. And it's like, girl, same way when she was telling it, you know, this is the only way and, you know, things like that. And so I do see a lot of, behaviors that she did have before and again from what I'm understanding she was ordered by you know her release or whatever to receive counseling or whatever the case but when she was inside she allegedly turned it down and so eight years stretch and no counseling allegedly like that's beyond me you know, people are still having mixed feelings about her not even shedding a tear. And 
other than the interrogation and 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 those are alleged fake tits i mean it's 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 a lot it's a lot of people covering the story but a lot of footage is definitely on tiktok you know there's a you know two things on on youtube and but <laughs> i mean that are really covering this you know it's a lot but I just, uh, I'm, I'm not understanding how it seems like she still continued to allegedly manipulate people. So we have Nicholas that she manipulated into doing this to her mom, allegedly. Then we have the friend who she convinced, you know, they were BFFs behind the walls. And she helped her to get this platform together because she got out first. And, and then once that was done, I don't need you. And it's like she throw away people that she no longer has use for anyway i'm gonna leave that there right now make sure y'all like share subscribe to the channel be blessed people